Okay, let's go over um, how to uh, adjust your navigation um, for your theme. So, you'll notice in the live preview there's actually two different navigation areas. There's one right here, and there's actually this button that is actually another navigation menu. So, both of them are added in the same area, so it's pretty simple. Let's go ahead and go to our dashboard and edit, edit that area under appearance and menus. So if you import the demo data, you'll see you have two different menus right here that you can choose from. Um, the higher button on the right, um, which you can edit the link and the text is needed, or remove it completely if you don't want that. Or you can select the navigation and start editing that menu as well. I'm going to go ahead and just create a new menu, just to start from scratch. Let's call this new menu example. And let's go ahead and create the menu. And let's right click to create too many times. So now we have our new menu example that we've created. Let's go ahead and just add a couple pages to it right there. And you can drag and drop to reorder them as need be. So let's go ahead and leave that um, like that. And let's save it. And let's open our site in a new tab. So what we're trying to do is create our menu and have it. Uh, set up here instead of our the one from the live preview. Again, this is just for an example. To do that is under Manage Locations, and under Primary Menu, we're going to select that menu that we just created, which was a new menu example. So now when we save the page, save the changes and refresh, you'll see we have those four links that we've created before. So let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and create a drop down menu under About. So to do that, we're going to edit that menu. And let's go ahead and add another couple pages. We'll add shop and our work, and we'll place them in a drop down menu under about. To do that super easy, you just drag the menu item underneath the page, and you drag it to the right, and it will snap to indent. You can see it snaps to it, and it will automatically indent. So now shop and our work are underneath about. So if we save that, and we refresh the page, you'll see we have a drop down menu underneath. Another cool thing we did in the live preview was, if you click this down arrow, you'll see some options, is we have these menu icon options. And if you click on the link, it'll show you a page where you can choose between a ton of different you know, icons. So it's pretty easy, you just pick your icon. Let's say we want to do user dash circle under the home page one. All you need to do is type that in save it and when you refresh it you'll see you have an icon you can do this under drop down menus at the main uh, level however you would like that's what we use here on the high res button is this angle right icon now let's say you wanted to change the link and text to that you can do that under the higher button and let's call this uh, contact us instead and here you would type in, you know, instead of the live preview, your website address right here. Um, for this example, let's just go and just make it google.com so I can show you uh, that it works. So we'll click save. And if we refresh, you'll see we adjusted the text. And when you click on it, in this example, it goes to google.com. Yours, of course, you can link to whatever page you would like. So. It's pretty darn easy to uh, control your navigation menu.